Next on list, we got this courtesy of Variety regarding John Oliver. John Oliver slams Elon Musk, says less than, what's that fuckable version of Billy Zane's Titanic villain? So let's read some of this here. Um, John Oliver is not a fan of Elon. He says, during the final last week tonight episode of the year, John Oliver devoted an entire 30 minute segment to rehashing the past 12 months in the life of Elon Musk, billionaire and owner of X, formerly known as Twitter. Musk has been practically fraught, um, particularly fraught, sorry, which no, Musk has had a particularly fraught 2023, which started with the removal of the verified status from legacy blue check mark holders and ended with him telling advertisers who began to pull their spending from X when X endorsed an anti Semitic conspiracy theory to go fuck yourself. By the way, what happened to that? Pla Do you remember when all the journalists were started, were started crying when Elon said he's going to take away the legacy check marks and they set up another uh, social media platform? Are they still using it? I forgot what it was called. What was it? What it wasn't true social or something else. It was some fucking social media platform that all the journalists jumped onto because they were like annoyed that Elon was taking away their blue check mark. I wonder if it's still on there. Musk has had a uh, the Oliver began um his roast by calling Musk a man who can pull off pretty much a bad any bad guy in a movie look as different images of Musk flash on the screen. Oh, they call it, oh, Blue Sky, I see, yeah. I think it was probably Blue Sky. Maybe that's not, maybe it was Blue Sky. Um, there's Lex Luthor posing for a cover of Metropolitan, Metropolitan, sorry, uh, Mannix Monthly. There's Why No Mr. Bond, and I don't know. There's I Just Bought Your Company. I'm about to strip it of the parts. There's a Space First Racist Sheriff. <laughs> that's hilarious. And finally, a less fuck fuckable reimagining of Billy Zane's character on Titanic. In James Cameron's 1997, okay, we're not going to explain that, fuck off. After playing the aforementioned clip of Musk um, telling off advertisers, Oliver riffed on Musk's outfit. He said, it's hard to say what's most embarrassing here. The fact that the world's richest man is playing the you're not breaking up with me, I'm breaking up with you card, or that he's doing it so confused, he's doing it to confuse silence while wearing a jacket from Ralph Lauren's midlife crisis collection. Um, he's clearly going uh, for a bad boy there, but ended up looking like a red peel chip from Rescue Rangers. I don't know, man. I like John Oliver, but when it comes to appearances, it's hard to like take it seriously when he looks like that, right? He, he has some funny bits here and there, but it's hard to take this guy ripping into your personal, your physical appearance and how you dress when he looks the way he does. Like, yo. Um... There's just, he, you know, what he kind of looks like. Is it Miss? Is it is it Penguin from Batman? The the one of the original ones. He kind of looks a bit like him, innit? If you took off his glasses and you gave him that white paint, made his you know made him look more paler. He look a bit like that Penguin, innit? Kind of. If you just squint. Um, let's continue. Um. Da -da -da -da. Oh, sorry. And then Elon Musk replied, right? So in general, he's roasting fucking Elon. Um, I've been kind of surprised, not surprised. I was a surprise. I get it, right? Because Elon's kind of unlikable. Because I guess I was introduced to Elon because I was into startups and shit. I still am, right? I'm a bit of a startup kid, tech kid and shit. So my introduction into Elon was mostly through his startups, through his amazing companies, you know, through his, you know, conversations and interviews around technology around society overall that's how i got introduced to elon i didn't i didn't see the elon that is on the media but then obviously over time he's become a lot more media he's become a lot more of a media whore right he clearly loves the attention and for me that's been the only thing that's kind of been a little bit hard to like swallow like how fame hungry he is right how desperate for fucking attention he is it's kind of cringy especially when you think about how accomplished he is how smart he is that he clearly values being famous he loves it he fucking loves it and i think it's a bit much so i get his personality is annoying the thing that i think though that really fuck people over a lot about elon is the twitter thing i honestly think him being on twitter or him taking over twitter and then making it like a free speech platform which essentially i guess for the left is code for making it a republican platform or more or more red leaning it pissed people off in a way that they will never get over 
And I can't figure it out because I'm all for balance. And in my head, I'm thinking the left had, you know, more than a decade of no holds fun. They could ban who they want, platform who they want on Twitter when, you know, Jack Dorsey was in charge. They basically run, they ran that place, right? You couldn't say certain things on there or you get banned, blah, blah, blah. Then this guy comes over and he's try and he's basically more leaning to the other side. He's more on the right-hand side of things. Just let him run with the thing, in it? You had your chance. You had the time to play with the, with the fucking thing. Let him play with it for a bit. It's really surprising that they're not willing to just like... I know maybe he's going to run it into the ground. It might, all it might all fucking blow up into a ball of flame. But let him do the thing. Jack Dorsey wasn't really doing that great with Twitter itself like, when he was running it either. It wasn't that amazing. The users honestly made that place good. But as an app itself, it wasn't really pulling up any trees. So I'm just surprised that they, you know, we had, again, more than a decade of the left running Twitter and doing it as they please and having you know have imbuing their own culture on it right their own fucking you know politics and shit into it which is what which is what it is what it is right whenever you run a company and you have a particular 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 political leanings you're allowed to do what you want and you're allowed to maybe express those through your product right it's like the ben and jerry's guys they're allowed to do what they want with their product because you know it's their product if they if they lean a particular way politically they can do it too i'm just shocked that they just won't let this guy do his thing now that he's running the show it's like Bro, he paid a lot of money for that shit. I know a lot of money. It wasn't it wasn't his, but let him, let him run it into the ground. And maybe I'm a little bit of a you know, I'm a little bit of a fatalist. I just want to see the world burn anyway. But it's just like it's, it's fun, man. Fuck it. Anyway, Musk respond. Musk responded to John Oliver's hacks and said, um, "What do you say here? The the oh no, this this is another quote from John Oliver. Another quote from John Oliver says this. What do you say about Elon?" He said, history is littered with titans of business who are shitty or broken people, from Thomas Edison to Henry Ford through to Steve Jobs. The difference is, by and large, they didn't open up their brain to let the whole world have a constant look inside, but Elon does, and the glimpse can be terrifying. Musk responded on, on Twitter, he said, Oliver was great several years ago, but stop being funny when he sold his soul to wokeness where humor is basically illegal. That was his response. Guy gave him 30 minutes of hits on primetime TV. And Elon was like, that wasn't even funny. <laughs> All right, Elon. All right. I guess so, mate. All right, brother. All right, fucking Elon. Stunning, stunning clap back there, mate. Fucking stunning. <laughs> anyway, let's move on. Absolutely stunning clap back there from fucking Elon. You can always count on him, innit? Always fucking count on him. <laughs>